Okay, what's on the board here is Pocket Money Kit 22, uh, and I've got a lead indicator on the output so that there's it's multicolored lead, so I get a red when the track is occupied and a green when the track is clear. Uh, the PMP 22 is a laser based train on track indicator. Uh, so the laser here points at the phototransistor here, and as long as that path is uninterrupted, um, there will be a green lead on the other side saying the track is clear. The um, project has two modes of operations, hence the jumper down the bottom here. And when that jump is on, every time the uh, beam is broken and the beam is returned, there'll be a change in state of the outputs. And the other thing I've done is when I first turn, when I first power this up, um, the laser goes for a longer period for about 15 seconds um, than it does when it's been running for that long and that's basically so if you're setting this up for the first time it gives you a little bit of time to align the laser with the uh, detector and away you go and then it drops down into a stream of lower power pulses so there's the laser pulsing away through the first startup sequence and pretty soon it'll die down to somewhere where you can't see it that much. And there we go. I can see it's still flashing on the paper. If I turn this light off above, you can see that it's still there. Uh, righto, now I'll bring this past the detector and you'll see that it changes immediately when it's sensed. I've just got a... I'm watching the iPad screen and the detector so it's a little bit awkward but there you go. Each time I go past I get an on and off. Now the other mode for the jumper is it says righto I'm going to keep the output indicating there's something on the track for a, a period and I don't care whether you say it's clear in between I'll gleefully ignore it. So if I put this on so I don't have to worry about aligning it Okay, there's no gap between the laser and the receptor, so the light's green. As soon as I take it away, it goes to red. I can bring it back, but it stays as red. So if you imagine that this detector was down at wheel level, it's not going on and off with every wheel. It's going. It's only going to come back and say the track's clear when I've got um, a continuous stream of pulses for a period I've specified in the code. The moment I said, um, once you've seen a consistent stream of pulses for two and a half seconds and come back and say the track is clear. That's super quick uh, video of what this does and it's not the standard code but I've sent some stuff to Davey to talk about what might be in um, standard code in the future. It's not hard to change this stuff and if people wanted to use it the way I'm using it then um, for sure I'll hand the code over to them or if they're local guys I'll even put it on their pick for them. Uh, that's it I'm going to stop this video there because I have to get out of this place and be somewhere else this afternoon I won't stand a chance in hell of uploading this otherwise. Thanks guys.